Mary, do you hear us? Yes, I, I can hear you. Hi, Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Uh, I was just thinking, and I, I, I've really enjoyed this, but I was thinking that, and I'm very, very grateful indeed that you're taking an initiative here. But I'm wondering just how you can really effective police a space like cyberspace. I think that has got to be really tough. It's 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 infinite, and and as I told the young man, uh, how can you get in and say police my computer? I'm sitting at my computer right now. How if, unless you invade and abridge my civil rights? This is a really difficult chore you're taking on, and I applaud you for addressing something this sensitive. Thank you, Mary. I, I agree with you. I don't. I don't. You know, we can all try to do all sorts of different complicated things, and, and there are some things like software. I talked about that a little while ago, but I'm convinced that as, as far as policing what our children have access to, frankly, we have to do that as parents. Um, the, the, the only way we're really going to be able to handle that really effectively is, is to do so as parents. Because, for example, even relying on technology that we ourselves as parents might, and I think should, install in our computers, sometimes that will give us a, a false state, uh, a sense of security. In one of the hearings that I had, a, 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 you know, a wonderful uh, parent, a woman walked up to me and she said, no, I feel pretty good because I've got all the software that was discussed tonight. I have that on my computer. And then she said, and by the way, I only allow my children, uh, she was on, she said that she, she uh, got to the internet through uh, AOL. She says, I only allow my children to be on the AOL pages that are for kids, for children. And then I reminded her, I said, you know, again, she was a very uh, conscientious, dedicated, uh, worried uh, mom who was very concerned and was very on top of the situation. And then I reminded her that, that for example, AOL, AOL doesn't know of all the people that are on their, ch on their children pages our kids, because they can't verify that. In other words, if, if now an individual says, yeah, so my name is you know, John Smith, I'm 12 years old, that might be a 47-year-old predator. Um, and AOL has no way of verifying it. So I agree with you, uh, Mary, I think I, I, which is why I think the only real there are things that we can do as government. I mentioned some of the legislation that, that, uh, that we have done in the last few years. I actually am going to be dropping a bill of this, this week or next week, and I'll talk about that in a little while. But frankly, the best way to make sure that our kids, our children are safe in our own homes is if we as parents monitor what they're doing on the Internet, on the internet know uh, who they're talking to, what's being said. And I'll take it one step further. Even if we do all that, then what happens when our kids go to their neighbor's home? You know, our neighbors uh, or our friends, they may be the most decent people in the, in the whole world, but they may not be as stringent as we are on monitoring the use of their computers, of their kids' computers. And I'll give you a very scary statistic that, that the police told us in one of these hearings, that when they go out and they pretend to be uh, children, and, you know, they'll, they'll create a, a fictitious character for themselves, and, you know, there'll be a 12-year-old girl or a 14-year-old boy or whatever, within 15 seconds of being on the net, the predators already start attacking them, already start trying to make contact with them, within 15 seconds. So I think the only way, maybe not the only way, but the most effective way is we as parents, and that's why I know that this is kind of a little bit outside the purview of all these hearings that I'm having, of you know, my direct congressional uh, role, I guess, as a, as a congressman, I'm supposed to be only concentrating and only worried about legislation that I can do. Well, I'm doing, I'm doing that, however, I'm convinced that no legislation in the world is going to be as effective as, as, as we can be as parents, making sure that we monitor what our children are doing on the computer. I gave those tips, which I'll give again uh, in a little while, about making sure that the computer is in a public place, uh, making sure that, that, uh, the way we su that we supervise our child's Internet use, making sure that we install software that allows filtering and blocking a certain site. Uh, you know, obviously make sure that our children never give out personal information. That we have to do by, by teaching them uh, how how negative and how dangerous that can be, any personal information, including really basic things like name, age, where they go to school, what, you know, what they like to do in school, what their hobbies are. Um, and again, the only ones that are going to be able to do that effectively, frankly, are us as parents. So when I, when I have these, these hearings, these meetings out there, I'm frankly doing them really less as a member of Congress, more as a, as a father of a, of a two-year-old who obviously is not at the age yet where 
uh, where it's dangerous to him, but, but I'm concerned. I'm very concerned.